Hello friends, I am Madhura from madhuracrecipe.com. Today I am going to show you how to prepare misal pav. Misal is basically a mixture of all types of different things. It primarily contains matki or moth pins. This is basically matki ji usar which is layered with farsan, onion, tomato and then everything together is soaked in, in cut which is spicy rasa. Today's recipe, I am going to show you how to cook everything together in one pot. This is certainly quick version of misalpa. So let's take a look at ingredients. So I have here 2 cups of boiled moth sprouts or matki sprouts. 2 cups of very finely chopped onion. A cup of finely chopped tomatoes. 2 teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder. A tablespoon of tomato paste. Half teaspoon of cumin powder. A teaspoon of koda masala, two teaspoon of coriander powder, a two teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, a teaspoon of garam masala, and a fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder. And to start here, I have a pan over medium heat with a four tablespoon of oil in that. And in here, I'm gonna add in finely chopped onion. And give that a mix. And you want to saute this until onion gets very nice golden color. And onion looks good. That has got very nice golden color and it has started to caramelize. Now this is the perfect time to season this up with ginger garlic paste. Then turmeric powder. Cumin powder. Coriander powder. And garam masala. and give it a good mix and here I will fry this masala for two more minutes and after two minutes of cooking time next thing that goes in here is finely chopped tomatoes add in Kashmiri chili powder and koda masala This goda masala is basically a mixture of all types of whole garam masala along with some garlic and onion. Now I will continue to cook this for 5 to 7 more minutes until this tomatoes breaks down. That looks awesome. You can see the tomatoes are well well dissolved with onion and it looks like thick masala paste. Now I am gonna add in tomato paste at this point of time. This uh, tomato paste kind of helps to bind this onion and tomatoes together so that after you add water in this gravy, these uh, tomatoes and onions don't separate from each other. And the next thing that goes in here is this boiled matki or moat sprouts. So what I have done here is basically I have taken raw moat pins or matki and then wash that in cold water 2-3 to three times and then I soak that in enough water overnight. Now you don't need to sprout these moat pins or you don't even need to boil them. What you can do, you can just soak this matki overnight and then uh, put that soaked matki directly into this gravy and you can uh, allow that to cook along with gravy itself. So this boiled moat felt coal in this masala. This gravy is looking just fabulous. I'm also adding this boiled water in which I have boiled these sprouts. Give that a mix. Then goes in lots of water. And mix. And allow it to simmer for another 7 to 10 minutes. And this is simmered for 10 minutes and look at that it has got very deep red color that's how we want our curry to be and it's not thick curry it's got pretty much flowy consistency it needs to be just like that we don't want to turn it into gravy now that our cut is ready our curry is ready now we'll start to assemble this misal 
now uh, for that uh, we need couple of few more things now there is no any set exact measurements for the use of this uh, garnish you may use as much as more or less you like so here i have got this uh, hot mix or fursan and this fursan is basically mixture of all types of different uh, save and uh, chuda and fried lentils you need a fine variety of save chopped tomatoes coriander leaves for garnishing and chopped onions and now let's begin to assemble this everything together and for that here i have taken this uh, deep little bit deep and wide bowl now at the bottom first i'm going to put a layer of this mood pins you don't need to take curry at this point of time just take mood pins add just this mood pins or matki add a heaping to spoon of that then we'll top that up with this farsan over that goes in finely chopped onion tomatoes coriander leaves and now put just a curry of this like that okay. awesome now final layer of this fine save and coriander leaves this misra is looking awesome it's always served with bread and a bowl of this uh, curry and wedge of lemon on the side i can't wait to taste that please subscribe on my website or my youtube channel also like us on facebook thank you for watching bye mm